up, everybody? Bobby here, the Geek Guru. Geek, definitely guru. I don't know. Today, I'm on my way to Comic-Con. Um, Atlantic City is having their first Comic-Con. Um, they've had other cons and stuff there in the past. But this one's going to be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'm going to see Kevin Smith live. Uh, we bought tickets for that. I'm going alone. Tony's sick. She's been sick for like three or four days. She can't kick it. So she's going to stay home and rest up. But I also might be able to do something else. Um, I was just notified by um, Image and Form that the CEO, uh, Brian, is in New Jersey right now in uh, Piscataway. He is doing a show of SteamWorld Heist. So I was actually just um, giving his phone number. Um, I was told to go search for him, go find him, um, might even get a little preview of SteamWorld Heist. I am amped up. Like, this is unreal. This is awesome. I am so excited. Um, so, we'll see. We'll get some pictures with him and all that stuff. So, it's going to be a good day. I am really amped up. So, uh, I'll be back a little bit. I'm going to vlog the day. You guys are going to be able to watch it all unfold and all that stuff. So, it should be a good day. So, uh, talk to you later.
but before I do anything, this is fucking, this is cool for me, man. Like I was driving in uh, the road, you know, that single two lane fucking road to get here. <laughs> Which like when I was a child, same fucking thing, two lanes. So I assumed coming in, I'm like, I bet you it's a freeway now. Two fucking roads, man. <laughs> two fucking lanes. And I'm familiar with it because like I, I was telling Jason and Muse, I was just like, dude, I was around when they started this shit. Like my parents would love to go to Atlantic City when they started opening up casinos. And we go to my Aunt Barbara's house. She lived in Tom's River. So they drop us at Aunt Barbara's. We either hang out with our cousins shit. They had HBO long before we did. So it was amazing. And then everyone else, all the adults would go to Atlantic. He's a fire Everyone else would go to Atlantic City and blow my college tuition. So it was, <laughs> In, like there was only one time that they ever took us because as kids, me, my brother, and my sister, they would always go with my aunt Barbara one the time. So the one time, you know, we, we talked about like Lang City's magical to us. So, like, what must it be like? It must be like Monopoly, of course. And so, <laughs> so finally they were like, we're gonna take you with us. And they took us to Atlantic City. And when you're nine years old in Atlantic City, there's fucking nothing to do. <laughs> I was like, this is what you come do when you leave us to go do this? And we were allowed to watch them gamble from the, from the rim of the room. It was crazy. And I went to step down because I saw mom and dad, I wanted to grab something. I was, there was an uh, arcade, so I wanted to go grab like a bottle of go play video games. I stepped on the fucking steps and two huge dudes came over and were like, get the fuck out. <laughs> I was not, I didn't know what the fuck was, but I dutifully listened. Anyway, so coming down, Driving through the, those two lanes again, it was like a walk down fucking memory lane. It's crazy. The older you get, the more shit like that matters to you. Like, uh, my father's long dead, but that road connects me to my father in a weird way because maybe one of the last, maybe 10 times in my life I've ever been on that road. One of them was once I was in the car with my father, and on the way here, it was like, we're going to a magical place. And on the way back, it was like, my father's a fucking idiot. <laughs> so much a part of the comic books. You jump in for an editorial comments about the see last issue. You could read the Stan Soapbox later on when they did Spider-Man as Amazing Friends. That's the first time I actually heard your voice, but by the time I heard your voice, I knew it in my head and heart for reading comics for all those years, man. So when I finally met you when we were making Mall Rats, you were a dream come true. You did they say don't meet your heroes? I met mine and you were phenomenal. So thank you for that. Well, yeah, what can I say? You're right. <laughs> Everything you just said is hundred percent correct. Well, you know, but at that point he's like, it's got everything. He's going, this is gonna be it. And I was like, really? He said, Oh yeah, get ready to make a sequel. I said, Yeah, a sequel, I got one right now. He goes, What is it? I said, I said, it's mall rats two, die hard in a mall. Because <laughs> that's what everybody was doing at that point. It was like speed was essentially die hard in a bus, you know. So I was like that, and he goes, That's perfect. I won't know what the movie is, it won't even have to go. And I was like, right. He's like, that this, but he loved the idea. So Jim Jacks had these cards on his desk all the time. I always thought it was interesting, the way he organized his life. And he moved this. He had three index cards. This one card would be like, shitty is doing this year. And you see all the projects they had in the hobby. Next card was shit I want to do next year, so it would be pending things. Third card was the dream team. Just like, shit that like, I'm going to get to one day. So it's cool. You look at his life organized, like on these three cards. And you see names like, holy shit, he's making a movie with Sam Raimi and shit like that. Oh my god, he's working with fucking Fogan. So it was really neat to see it laid out at all the time. And it's something I adopted later on in life. I started with cards as well. So one day, we're most on all rats. We go to Jim's house, and he's got his cards laid out. And I'm looking at the cards because I always like seeing, like, holy shit, he knows all these guys. 
They're on the third car, Jim. Mall rats too die for in the mall. <laughs> and I was like, Jim, we're on the dream car? He goes, yeah, that movie needs to be made. <laughs> so right on. So Mall rats came out and fucking died. Uh, they did the uh, Like, man, he made Tusk look successful. And uh, I think we made Drew's girl look successful. All right, let's bring it. So it didn't do that well. Uh, checking out Kevin Smith. Um, the second part of all of this is going to kick off with um, just basically the image and form stuff and all that and what happened there. And um, So that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to click that subscribe button, share it with all your friends, um, like the video, follow me, Instagram, Twitter, at the Geek Gurus. Um, there's a Facebook group. Check that out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace, mother... When the days are cold and the cars all fold in the same, we see are all made of gold when you dream.